Namaste dosto, I am Dr. Urvashi Pachel, a pathologist at Government Medical College, Nagpur. In today's video, I will be shedding some light about the recently hot trending topic across the world and that is the human papilloma virus, also called as the HPV, a leading cause of cancer of cervix amongst the women. HPV affects the men as well as the women, so this video is equally informative for both the groups. The main intention behind making this video is sharing this basic information which is the leading cause of cancer amongst the general population who is unaware about it. So you can prevent a deadly disease like cancer and also help out your loved ones. Worldwide, cancer of cervix is the first most common type of cancer. The mortality rates, that is the death rate due to cancer of cervix, cervix has declined about 75% due to the effective screening method due to the pap smear. 50 years ago, cancer of cervix was the leading cause of death among the women. HPV, as the name has, human papilloma virus, has many variants, but the most deadly variants are the HPV-16 and the HPV-18, amongst which HPV-16 alone accounts for the 60% of the cancers. Apart from affecting the cervix, HPV also affects affects vulva, vagina, penis, anus and other parts of the oropharyngeal tract and also the tonsils. So this is not only the cause for cancer of cervix for other sites as well. The variants of the virus which cause cancer are called as the oncogenic viruses. Oncogenic viruses can also cause perineal and perianal warts apart from the cancers which is a very common infection accounted by the general population. The fun fact about the HPV is that it has affected most of us but we are unaware about it because we don't know the modes of screening. A simple test like a pap smear is very helpful in detection of of HPV and prevention of cancer. Only HPV infection is not responsible for causing cancer. Other associated environmental factors like hormonal changes, use of oral contraceptive pills, multiple sexual partners or early age of menarche, all these factors contribute to the cause of cancer and are also called as the risk factors. A few highlights about the clinical features of cancer of cervix. Cancer of cervix affects mostly or is presented in an age group of 45 to 50 years. It is presented as intermenstrual bleeding or as postmenopausal bleeding. It may also present as a foul smelling whitish colored discharge from the vagina. It may also present as abdominal pains, lower back aches, weight loss history or decreased appetite etc. These are the common clinical findings of the cancer which you should be aware. Let me tell you what a PAPS testing is. Basically PAPS test is performed by a gynecologist in an OPD. It is a simple OPD procedure in which the gynecologist takes a small smear of the cervical secretions. These cervical secretions are spread in a slide and are examined by the pathologist. This screening gives us information about many precursor lesions like the low-grade squamous intraepithelial neoplasia or high-grade squamous intraepithelial neoplasia which may in future progress into invasive cervical cancers. So a small testing of HPV can be done to detect these precursor lesions. The cervix is the lower part of the uterus. So mind you, do not confuse yourself with the cancer of cervix and cancer of endometrium. Both of them are very different. Cancer of cervix can also be detected by the direct clinical examination by an oncologist or, or your gynecologist as the wall of the cervix takes up the irregular shape due to the cancer. But this happens when the cancer has progressed into the advanced stages. In the early stages, it may be completely asymptomatic and have a precursor lesion like in situ cancers. This can be detected by the PAPS test. If the PAPS testing occurs to be abnormal, and another examination that is carried out is the colposcopic examination. In the colposcopic examination, a scope is inserted inside the cervix and it is visualized, directly giving information about the cancer. So let me tell you when the HPV testing is recommended. We recommend HPV testing as early as in 21 years of age or in the onset of your first sexual activity. We can also also test for the HPV DNA for the molecular screening of the cancers. HPV vaccination is a very important aspect for prevention of cancer of cervix. Not just cancer of cervix for, but for also preventing other cancers as I have previously told you. This can be taken by boys as well as girls. The commonly recommended HPV vaccines are the Gardasil and the Cervarix. I will be making a very separate video about this topic in detail. So friends, get a pap smear done, get yourself vaccinated, get yourself tested for HPVs and prevent a disease like cancer amongst yourself and your loved ones. I will be sharing much information in the next video about the vaccine. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. Namaste.